President Biden is back in Washington, D.C. this morning after facing questions and criticism about classified documents found at a former office of his in Washington, D.C. NBC's Bree Jackson is live from Capitol Hill. And Bree, that we're, we're told that uh, fewer than a dozen documents with classified markings were found. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Maureen. Well, two senior law enforcement officials tell NBC News that a Trump-appointed U.S. attorney has been reviewing those findings for the past several weeks. Uh, that includes both what the documents contain and how they ended up in Mr. Biden's former D.C. office. President Biden responding to the revelation that classified documents were found in a locked closet at his think tank in Washington, D.C. I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. But I don't know what's in the documents. The White House says a small number of documents were discovered, turned over to the National Archives, and are now under review by the Justice Department. The discovery came a week before the midterm election, but it was not disclosed to the public until Monday. Some Republicans argue it was intentionally concealed. You know, that's, that's something I want the law enforcement folks look at that. And if there's violations, they should be held accountable. The top Republican on the House Oversight Committee sent a letter to the White House saying lawmakers are investigating the matter. I just know that he said it was very irresponsible for President Trump to take classified document to his personal residence and have them in an unsecured location. Comer drawing comparison to the unprecedented search at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Others say there are clear differences. The potential crime here has to do with obstruction, that is, with not responding to an investigation and trying to uh, obscure it. That's the exact opposite of what Biden's done. A special counsel to the president says the White House is cooperating with both the Justice Department and the National Archives. And Democrat Mark Warner, the chair of the Senate's Intelligence Committee, has called for a briefing on both the classified documents found at Mr. Biden's former D.C. office and those found at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Maureen? And, Bree, big question here. Who will be reviewing those documents? Yeah, well, Maureen, it's the U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Illinois. His name is John Lausch. He was nominated by former President Trump, and he's one of only two current Trump-era uh, U.S. attorneys that are now serving under the Biden administration. And, Bree, I'm hearing from the control room that it's your birthday today. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> uh <laughs> oh, well, th thank you, Maureen. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm happy to be celebrating it with you guys this morning. So it's yeah, a great I'm way to kick off the morning. I'm sure you'd like a little rest. So hopefully you get that later today. But happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>